Sumabank Bosma factory was not only a factory but also a social factory project. This project, which took place in 1937 in the fertile Aegean town of Nozili, was unique. Nozili is a town where citrus, cotton, olives and figs are grown. This economic, social and cultural development move by the young Republic of Turkey was primarily based on human rights and people's needs. A textile factory with a hospital, pharmacy, school, kindergarten, gym, cinema and theatre was established in it. The factory even had a mini train to provide transportation between Nozili and the factory. Bosma is the name of the weaving technology. Bosma fabric has colourful flower patterns and made of cotton. That's why the factory is called Bosma Factory. The factory's credit was obtained from the Soviet Union and the loan debt was paid with citrus fruits. Turkish and Soviet engineers worked together in Nozili. Turkish and Soviet engineers created a very unique socio-cultural factory campus. President Atatürk came to Nozili in 1937 and opened the factory. When he heard the sounds made when the factory engines started to work, Atatürk said this is music. It is not just the music of the engines heard in the factory. The factory had a radio broadcasting music and a choir performing music. The radio broadcasted information about factory to workers and broadcasted music. The music group formed by the employees gave concerts to local people of Nozili. Noi Gernal, one of the local people of Nozili, tells that they always heard music when they entered the factory campus. According to Umut Gok Bayrak, in addition to Turkish music, classical Western music and even classical music, opera and waltz were listened and performed, balls, dances and parties were organized in the cafeteria and other social areas of the factory. The factory had interesting features that are not even available today. One there was a 40-bed hospital in the factory. This hospital was established to protect workers' health. The hospital, which had dental, external, internal medicine and gynecology departments, had x-ray machines and an operating room. There was also a pharmacy. Medicines needed for the treatment of factory members and their families were given free of charge. The malaria disease, which had become Nozili's nightmare, was eliminated when the health team of the factory visited the villages and informed the public. Poet and painter Bedri Rami Erglu, who went to Nozili in 1953, tells that the workers dealing with paints were given milk and yogurt to prevent poisoning. Ilhan Odin confirms this information and says that buttermilk and milk were given to protect workers who were working in the parts of the factory where chemical substances were used, and in the foundries with toxic and polluted air. The factory had a school. Literacy courses with five classes were organized to increase the literacy of the workers and Suma Elementary School was operating with a capacity of 980 students. The school was within the factory campus and within walking distance of the lodgings for the children of the workers. Nozili's first cinema was opened on the factory campus. In the 700-seat movie theatre, movies were shown six times a week. The movie theatre was open not only to the factory workers, but also to the people of Nozili. The first theatre had started its plays in the factory. According to Gunva Goons, Opening a 700-seat movie theatre in a town with 12,000 people in 1937 could only have been the work of Ataturk and his revolutionary cadres. Opportunities were created for basketball, football, athletics, volleyball, golf, cycling, wrestling and tennis sports at the factory. A sports club named Sumaspa team with its dark blue-white jersey was also established. Skating entertainments and bike races that strengthen social cohesion in Nozili are the heritage of the factory. A nursery with 26 beds and 40 rooms was established for the children of workers. This strategy allowed women to participate in working life peacefully and safely, as it is a kindergarten where they can safely entrust their children. Providing nursery facilities was a policy that paved the way for women's employment and facilitated women's business lives. In order to solve the housing problem of the workers, lodgings consisting of 264 houses were built. The workers of the factory used to stay in the lodgings by paying very reasonable rents. 
a three kilometers railway line was laid and mini train services were arranged so that the workers who did not stay in the lodgings could come to the factory from Nozili or for the people to participate in the social activities at the factory. The train, which was named Giddy Giddy by the people of Nozili because of the sound of the mini train on the rails, carried the workers and the people of the district for 58 years until 1995. Suma Community Center, which aimed to raise public awareness, was the first and only community center opened within a factory. According to Hussein Yorokoglu, as it was learned from local newspapers in 1945, it was seen that 9,562 people read books in one year in the records in the library of Suma Community Center. A cooperative was also established within the factory to provide food and clothing for the factory workers. The factory had a nice and clean bakery serving the workers, a workers' cafeteria, an officer's canteen and a Turkish bath. The factory used to supply both its own electricity needs and Nozili's electricity needs with an in-house power plant for a while. There was also a water plant to meet the water needs of the factory. One of the factory designers, Muzeyen Nalbantoglu has been recorded as Turkey's first designer. The fact that the country's first designer was a woman and was brought up within the institution is an important example of the numerous possibilities offered by the factory. As can be seen from the examples, this social factory project has affected urban life. It has revived the cultural life and economy of the people of Nozili, and caused the modernization of the social life of the people. While Nozili was a small town, it had become an immigration center. Employees were not only from Turkey but also from abroad. The small town had become a wealthy town because of the factory. Bedri Rami Eoglu conveys his impressions by saying, If they told me I saw 500 workers going to work by bicycle in a district in Anatolia, I couldn't believe it easily. At the same time, Sumabank fabrics and colorful unique patterns created a national textile pattern style and fashion. The factory, which had been operating for 65 years, was privatized in 2002 as a victim of liberalism on the grounds that it was making loss. Factory workers were transferred to Borsa in tears. In the year the factory was sold, Azra Akın, who represented Turkey by wearing the costume created by Cemil Epixi from the Nozili Bosma fabric was selected as the Miss World in the competition in London. The dress zone from Nozili Bosma Fabric won the Best Costume and Best Design Award in that competition. The Bosma Fabric crowned by the beauty of the world is produced for the last time that year in 2002. The last produced Bosma Fabric is exhibited in the Museum of Nazili. The factory was later closed and transferred to Adnan Menderes University with all its immovable properties free of charge. Machines and vehicles inside the factory are left to rot. The factory campus is now used as a university campus and park. Sumabank Bosma Factory was not just a textile factory. It was an extraordinary and unprecedented social project that met the accommodation needs of the employees, provided health services, provided education opportunities, revitalized the cultural lives of the employees and the people of Nozili, and laid the groundwork for them to meet with art. While establishing the Sumabank Bosma Factory, human rights and needs of workers were prioritized. The excuse that it made a loss was put forward while this unique factory project was being terminated. By ignoring all the components of the social factory project, the decision about its future was reduced to loss. The unique and giant development move of the Republic of Turkey, the social and cultural factory project, Nozili Sumabank Bosma Factory, unfortunately, could not be preserved and this miracle came to an end.